Uh, welcome back to another FTC 5773 crash course video. Today we're going to talk about odometers, so let's get right into it. What is an odometer? Um, an odometer is a mechanism that travels the distance of a vehicle travels. Using both the X and Y coordinates, um, a vehicle is able to find the position it is at. Um, it can either be mechanical or computerized. Below are an ex two examples of mechanized odometers. Odometers can be found in a lot of places in our daily life, especially in cars. So you can see below in the red circle an odometer display, and it's displaying the uh, miles that a car has traveled. So by uh, tracking the total distance of every drive, it can help the uh, car owner know the mileage of the car as well as when the car needs maintenance. Odometers in FTC. Uh, so in odometers in FTC are used to track the position of the robot on the field. In this case, in the Freight Frenzy Challenge, um, for a team to know if their robot is in the warehouse or not, they can use odometry to figure out where their robot is. So the starting point would be the origin and the target location would be the coordinate point the team would set. Then the robot would go from the origin to the coordinate point, either in a straight line or in many different curves. And the default unit is usually inches. So there's three main parts of an odometer, the encoder, the casing to which the encoder is attached, and an omnidirectional wheel. So when these three parts come together, we have the omnidirectional wheel, the whole um, assembly placed at the bottom of the robot. So as the wheel spins, the encoder, which is attached to the wheel, will spin as well and translate this into a distance. So here's our ultimate goal robot. And in the red circle is our vertical odometer that tracks the Y coordinate. And this is just the right side. Um, the left side also has an odometer, which is much below. Yeah, so as I said, we have two odometers used to measure the changes in the Y direction, the changes in distance. And we also have a third odometer used to measure the distance that we the robot translates in the X direction. And these odometers are usually placed within channels in order to conserve space and keep our robot space efficient. So how odometers work? Um, in this case, um, we are using open odometry. And so the encoder module would be attached to a omni wheel. And using the circumference of the omni wheel and the amount of times the omni wheel rotates, we can calculate exactly how far the wheel has traveled. And this information is sent to the control hub, which the odometers are wired to. And using these inputs, the code outputs the current location of the robot in the form of a coordinate. This allows teams to track exactly where their robot is in both the autonomous period and during teleop for driver enhancements. We hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.